What is up, Pisces Collective? Rose Warrior here, back with another message. So, I pulled one card from my tarot deck, my Bianco Nero deck. I love that deck because it's black and white, it's to the point. I don't know, sometimes black and white hits. Maybe black and white are colors that are really significant in your style right now, or just colors that resonate with you, like yin and yang, feminine and masculine energy, and just the flow of the two. So Pisces, there's some sort of flow I'm tapping into at this time. I really took time, went to the park, meditated, prayed. And speaking of that, let's start with a prayer before I give you these messages. Ancient ancestors of the highest white light, ancestors of all of the Pisces collective and my ancestors that govern me in my readings, I ask that you protect us and that you guide us through the truth and through the navigation of these waters of emotions, clarity of the mind in this cosmic web, we're all embarking on understanding. Spirit, guardian angels that protect us, please triple protect us with a golden vibration, a golden light or a field around us so we are able to be in the beautiful bubble of protection and love and purity. Let's begin. These three snaps get rid of all of the energy in the room to start anew. Eight of Pentacles came out for you, Pisces. And with that being said, Eight of Pentacles is a part of the Earth suits. So I'm an Earth sign, right? I can vouch that the number eight is always flowing around the mind or flowing around your reality. If you see 8-8 eight, eight or 8-8-8, eight, 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 it's always talking about infinite potential and how everything comes back to source, right? Or how everything that you throw out into the universe has this infinite ripple effect, right? So it's about understanding your power. And as I say that, I can feel the cells in my body rise because I can tap into this kind of frequency that I feel from Pisces. As I'm looking at the Eight of Pentacles that I wrote down, I believe that also as you write, if you're a writer, Pisces, I don't know why I'm doing this, maybe you do this a lot, um, if you write down a lot of things, Pisces, Spirit says there's power and light in our gifts. So I think this era we're discovering, this golden era, right? Age of Aquarius that we're entering in and embarking on understanding as well. It's going to be an era about understanding everyone's gifts are special. Yours are special. Mine are special. The person next to me is special and the person next to me is special and has something divinely uh, acquainted to them of uh, divinely I, I want to say placed but also spirit is giving me another word divinely ordained over you so it's eight of pentacles energy is an energy of tapping in to the material realm and working on your crafts working on your skills and becoming a master at everything you are passionate about Let's begin also with your three pre-pool oracle cards here. I have the Council of Light, and we're going to talk about the Council of Light here. The Council of Light speaks of and gives me the energy as an oracle of the Ascended Masters. I'm also seeing, I wrote the number 33 for Scorpio because I'm going to be reading for Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Scorpio here. The number 33, Spirit tells me, is also significant for you because of the Council of Light. If you see the numbers 33 or 44, I want you to know that there are beings that are helping you. And when you, when you hear this, it's hard for us to believe that there are actual beings out there, you know, trying to move energy around you to make you understand something. Send numbers your way, send letters your way, feathers your way, light your way. Beautiful, divine interactions with people in an Uber. I'm getting a hotel, I'm getting an elevator. You could have met someone that changed your life this week on a stairwell, Spirit is telling me. These are people that were sent from these ascended masters here. Whoever I'm speaking to, Pisces, you are somebody divine special whoever i'm speaking to spirit that i see in this card has their hand over not only these ascended masters and protecting spirit is not only protecting these ascended masters spirit is 
oh my left ear is amplifying right now like i can hear the high pitched spirit is amplifying and raising the vibration of even your ascended masters here your ascended masters that are choose the ones that have chosen to protect and guide you are also ranking higher and getting and gaining more light wow that's what i'm receiving and at this time spirit is is not only seeking to understand through the ascended masters but the ascended masters through that are also trying to ascend higher and understand through you and your experience so you are connected to realms and the cosmos that are it's bigger than you it's bigger than me spirit says that th this will not resonate with everyone so pisces i'm not here to be accurate i'm not here to be anything else but real and authentic um, I feel Spirit wants me to talk about this. Are you sure? Okay, Spirit said keep it short. Okay. If you're on tarot, right? Into tarot or just want to get into it and, and you love looking at these videos. Try to understand the light language I'm speaking. I'm not just giving English. I'm not just giving codes. I'm not just giving intuitive hits and insights it's not only those things spirit says look deeper than that don't look for accuracy and for a story that matches in your mind look for truth i'm gonna bring this card up and i'll leave it there sisterhood of the rose beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher whoever i'm speaking to pisces you're a teacher of some sort you could have been raised by a teacher, spirit tells me, or a sister of yours is a teacher or was a teacher if your sister passed away because the energy that I'm feeling here, and one, my condolences, the energy that I'm feeling here is a woman who has this energy of her sister, her sisters, spirit is also telling me, you could have more than one sister. I only have one sister. Spirit says the number one is also very significant for you. I'm getting one last chance, one shot, one horizon here. So the Sisterhood of the Rose talks about living this path of divine feminine here. You could have a divine feminine placement, placements, or just have that divine feminine energy awakening within you at this time. The Sisterhood of the Rose speaks of alignment with those sister energies here motherly energies uh and intuitive feminine energies that create energies that are like creatrix energy right it's powerful because it's energy that can manifest itself so this is the energy that you carry here with this priestess mystic teacher energy here with the sisterhood of the rose your beauty whoever i'm speaking to pisces you carry that like your sister, like I said, like I'm speaking to. I didn't forget what I was saying. My mind's just going everywhere with this energy here because the energy is tapping into my body and starting to settle in my vessel here. So what I'm seeing is that that sister, that someone who I'm speaking to who may have lost, is giving you energy and love and enlightening you, whoever I'm speaking to, to some sort of truth about yourself. I'm getting your sister, whoever I'm speaking to, whether it's a sister who's still in this physical realm or not, both. Your sister is trying to give you unconditional love. I'm also getting for some of you, your sister is doing the best she can. I haven't tapped into family energy in a very long time, but I know I had to bring my, can my candle out here, my white candle with three flames lighting because the number 33 like i said is important and 44 so the angelic realms are protecting you triple quadruple times 10 protecting you right now pisces because you are embarking on this huge journey that involves you breaking free Last card of the oracle pool is pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is general oracle pool. Then we're getting into tarot right now. So the tarot is going to be live for everyone. The pillar of light 
It speaks of your vibration rising in a way that changes your reality. It speaks of being able to tap into realms beneath the waters, from the waters, and the skies here. I'm getting four stars in the sky here. So the number four is significant here. We've got one, two, three, four stars. And then technically you've got the sun here in the middle or a sun. So technically five. But I'm seeing four significant in terms of protection, beaming energy on this one being here who's ascending. So Pisces, you're ascending here. Pisces is a water element and this being is seen ascending through the earth from the inside through the deep submarine parts of the waters here and submerging and breaking free. So that's what spirit is asking and saying. To understand that this moment in time of you breaking free hmm, is because you've been working, like I said, on this eight of pentacles that popped up in your pre, your one card pre pool here. You've been working for lifetimes on all these crafts and it's time you build an empire off of them. Spirit says it's time you build an empire off of them. All right, Pisces, we got Hierophant here. Spirit says this is the truth. This is ordained. You have been granted the right of way here with this Hierophant card to achieve and lay foundations. And those foundations will be definite. The ones you choose to be definite, Spirit says. Hierophant here is Taurus energy. So you could have Taurus placements, Pisces. Or you could be around some sort of Taurus energy here. Spirit says this uh, breaking free and, and mastery of the crafts and being able to lay these foundations into the real world here. Three knocks. The chariot. You're going to be able to push forward in a way that you have never even... You're going to surprise yourself, Pisces. Whoever I'm speaking to, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, Spirit said, it's time to not worry about accuracy, worry about discovering the light within the message. Period. You're a Pisces, this is just for you. This is not for you to find what is, what isn't. This is just for you. The video found you for a reason. You're, you're here at 12 minutes for a reason. Yeah, for, for some of you. Some of you who already left, much peace and love. Have a great day. We're all good. Always. The chariot here. Spirit is telling me you're all good. Always. Yeah. Take everything in significance, Spirit says. Take everything in significance. Look, remember we're talking about maybe white and black being significant and yin and yang here with the chariot. is a white horse and a darker horse here. Dark black horse or a dark horse. The horse could the, the horses also come coming across gray. So if you like gray and white, that's still very significant as well. Mm -hmm. But my point is that these opposites being able to work together here, feminine and masculine opposites being able to work on one accord here with this cancer energy, the chariot, a leader. Mm -hmm. A leader, somebody who is able to push forward a cardinal sign here. An initiator. The Hierophant is Taurus energy, fixed energy. You've been ordained to have this breakthrough because you've been working on these crafts. I've already repeated myself. The judgment came out. The judgment comes out, that was at 1414. The judgment comes out to kind of solidify the sentence here, is what Spirit is telling me. It comes out to solidify the sentence. Major Arcana cards came out. Nothing small or minor here. We've got the Hierophant, the Chariot, and Judgment here. And they came out powerfully positive for you with the judgment card you are being set free your enemies are receiving lessons learned let's say that 
Let's be graceful, Spirit says. Your enemies are receiving lessons learned. Not to mess with you because you really are a genuine person. With that Cancer energy and the Chariot card, I get you are always confident in your truth because you know you come from a good place, Pisces, whoever I'm speaking to. The Judgment card says, you know, your karma, you've, you've, you've paid those debts. You set yourself free. You listen to Archangel Michael. You listen to Archangel. I, I'm hearing Metatron. Powerful. These angels, we can't even fathom the light, the amount of light. We can only read as much as we want, but you got to tap in, Spirit says. You got to believe, Spirit says. You gotta believe you're set free, Pisces. Ten of Cups, Pisces. Water energy here, Pisces energy. <sighs> I'm getting 10, 10, 10, three times in this reading. The judgment is 20, but it, it's, it's split in half. 10, 10. Here. And then we've got Ten of Cups here. So 10, 10, 10. You've not only jumped through the portal, you've completed it. We're good. We're clear. This is for all leaders. Even if you're just a leader and you found this. This is for a leader here. 10, 10, 10, three times. Come on now. Spirit says you're, fa you're falling in love <laughs> with yourself, with another person for some of you, with life. You're falling in love with love. For some of you, I'm getting a funny joke, nice tush. <laughs> what am I tapping into, Pisces? And I know y'all y'all are way more vulgar than this. I'm being elegant today, okay? Okay. Pisces, King of Cups, this is you, standing in your power. A divine masculine energy here, a healer. You're a healer. You've healed. Because you've healed you've healed others and with this king of cups and ten of cups here there's not a damn thing anyone's going to do to stop you from achieving these foundations that you're laying for yourself and we're going to tap into what exactly are these foundations and these eight of pentacles energy here that you've been working so diligently on your whole life i'm hearing why spirit had to protect you why spirit had to ordain this as something that you were going to have the keys for no matter what. Two keys here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting two people have the key when they pray. Where two or more are gathered, God is in the midst. Is what I'm hearing. Let's put the deck on King of Wands here and Six of Cups. With Six of Cups gives me the energy of two or more gathering. Even if it's just you and your higher self, you and your inner child. Two energies that are of the same but in different stamps of space i don't know i'm tapping into some crazy stuff y'all it makes sense to me but i say i don't know because i i don't know who this is really for this is tarot here it's reflecting your energy pisces i meditated on you not me i meditate on me for me other days to charge up spirit says be prepared charge up mm -hmm. this is you Four of Swords charging up. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So you're a Pisces, but you could be falling in love with another water sign or another water sign may be initiating change within you. Could be a bestie, could be a sister. Because we were tapping in a sister energy. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I will keep saying that. Mm -hmm. You're definitely set, Pisces, on this Four of Swords like... Don't ask, don't tell, don't bother me, is what I'm hearing. You're set in this sort of maturity, this sort of protection here. Hmm. This King of Cups here, if it's you, you're looking at your past self in a way where you're letting that past self pass away. Oh. 
You are going on this crazy spiritual journey here, Pisces. And for some of you, this is the first time you're 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 probably hearing messages like this, and you're like, "What the fuck? This is this is resonating." The spirit tells me this is going to resonate with a very specific group of Pisces people. The spirit says this will not be for every Pisces, but this will be for a very big and specific group of people here. Whoever I'm tapping into, you're on this journey here, and we're going to figure out. Not only are you finding love and finding connection and finding that love for yourself as well and not only are you going to be building these foundations here that are going to be set in stone and not only is that are you bulldozing and coming through that quickly summarizing here not only are you blessed to have this and protected but also have been tested You're finally putting all the stagnant energies to rest. So you can go ahead and focus on family is what I hear and see. In the four of swords here. Mm -hmm. That's probably why you're looking at your past self like, wow, I've come a long way. This card really wants to come out. Queen of Wands. I'm going to start a new spread here. Queen of Wands comes out. Because we're tapping in now to this creative energy that you're tapping into here. Spirit says split the deck in three. Okay. I don't always do that live, but all right. Let's leave that there. We've got Ace of Cups, Pisces, overflow of love overflow of opportunity and manifestations of new connections that see you and your heart spirit has been trying to grant you with this overflow this river this ocean of love here and you have sailed across the seas to find this to find you whoa <laughs> that's significant here that was like a mic drop boom spirit said this is the Six of Swords here. The Six of Swords right under the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and I have the Three of Cups here, more Pisces energy. Lots of water. And all three cards, it's a water element. It's three women clinking together, celebrating. So you and two sisters or three different feminine energies could be guys that are just feminine. That's okay, because I'm a guy and I'm feminine. Mm-hmm. Spirit tells me to tell y'all, some days I'm not a guy. Some days I'm a whole other being that you can't pinpoint. And Spirit says this is the same thing for you, Pisces. Some days people can, can kind of guess what energy you're in. And then some days it's not gossip, but you got people talking about like, who is this girl? Who is this guy? Who is this person? This entity, this being. They're so creative. I get they're so intuitive they're so beautiful and sexy i'm getting like whoever i tap into pisces is just your energy in general is fucking sexy you got a sexy ass energy i don't say this shit in my readings go to all my readings y'all know i really mean what i say because i ain't gotta be up here for free go ahead and lie on people especially about what i love here which is reading for you guys you're getting an overflow here and you travel the seas to find this and you have finally found it. Many people are like, who is this person? They are magnetic. Let's pull from a new spread. So this new sort of, um, I'm picking up on like, it's a situation. It's a good situation. That's what I want to say. This new good situation that you walked into. Look. Put the deck on King of Cups, the Hierophant here. They were both in your last spread here. You're walking into a, a, a riveting and emotionally intense, is what I hear, but in the best way. An emotionally gold, golden time, essentially. Pisces energy here. 
We've got Pisces with the hangman. You're enlightened. Pisces, I really hope this finds the right person. Fuck. The chariot here coming out again. This is coming. This is yours, Pisces. Take it, Spirit says. Ace of Cups coming out again. <laughs> it's like, boom. <laughs> Whoever, whoever this is for, you can take this type of joking. You can take this energy. You like passion is what spirit is telling me. You need it. Pisces, you need it. If you made it this far to the reading, thank you. I'm going to let the music stay a little loud. Spirit says, get loud. Accept it. Spirit says, don't pull anymore. I pulled the same three cards out from the first spread. We got the chariot number seven, the hangman number 12, and the ace of cups. You deserve this, Pisces. We got Cancer, Pisces, and water energy. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio here. Only water elements here working in your favor. Come on with the come on. Come on with the come on. Wow. Fair test to just speak to Pisces for a second. All right, Pisces, so I'm proud of you. There is some sort of, and let me tell you why I'm proud of you. I know a couple Pisces in my life and there's this psychic silence to Pisces. There's a psychic silence about you. And you really know how to channel through that silence. You know how to tap into the cosmic web here and really understand the person in front of you from an emotional state, which is a gift only someone at the end of the zodiac wheel can receive. So this, these Pisces placements are in your chart. It's more than astrology, it's more than tarot. You're giving gifts to connect. Spirit says to open up and receive it. I don't know what my life could be tomorrow. So Spirit tells me to give everything I can give in the now. Pisces. Whoever you are, man. You're special. On 2727. And to me, that's 99. Completion. Mission accomplished, Pisces. If it was just trying to get over depression, if it was trying to get over anxiety, if it was just trying to get over this small hump, even if it was just trying to make $200 and you finally got a dollar more and you went from $199 to $200 this morning and you finally reached that mark, you be proud of yourself because it's one little thing to show you what a big thing could look like too. And as that, those big things are literally in your bubble, in your auric field. Spirit just needs you to continue expanding that heart we've been talking about this in my earlier readings pisces go to the other ones i don't even talk i don't even need to talk about donations i had donation stuff that i wanted to talk to you about the email but just read the description you y'all you whoever i'm speaking to it's about your message right now keep expanding pisces keep expanding and if this message found you god bless you have a good day y'all rose warrior out